I don't care what Noble Dwali said. Rashid, peace, peace. This how's the consciousness? What's good, brother? What's up? Ain't nothing. We good? ain't Africans. We ain't coming on no slave ship. Yeah. And the slave story is grossly, grossly, grossly misunderstood. Okay, so if and our true, people suffer from a lack of knowledge. So and anytime true, the white man is going out of his way, it's Moorish Latin I'm speaking. And anyway, anything that the white boy gets behind and tells you to venerate, right? Mm -hmm. I'm the European, right? <laughs> Serious? I don't care what Noble Drali said. Brother Sheikway L, aka Lord Abba, aka Mr. Just the Facts. Um, it's got the day off, home, reflecting, bunch of thoughts going through my mind as I sit and meditate, uh, contemplating my my ne my next article. I wrote an article on Medium.com called "Why Are African Writers Disparaging African Americans." Prophet Noble Drew Ali brought iffy information that but had great progress. Show me where uh, it says a Mexamat as a name for Africa. I can't show you that. You could get one of them other guys from them uh, splinter groups, the men's, as we nickname them. They'll try to mix two words together or tell you it comes from some Moroccan council, some bogus stuff. I, I don't know where the prophet got that word from. I, I can't prove that the flag is 10,000 or 50,000 years old. But I, I don't know where the prophet got that word from. I, I can't prove that the flag is 10,000 or 50,000 years old. But I, I don't know where the prophet got that word from. I, I can't prove that the flag is 10,000 or 50,000 years old. But I, I don't know where the prophet got that word from. I, I can't prove that the flag it's 10,000 or 50,000 years old. Show me where uh, it says a Mexamat as a name for Africa. I can't show you that. Show me where uh, it says a Mexamat as a name for Africa. I can't show you that. Show me where uh, it says a Mexamat as a name for Africa. I can't show you that. I, I don't know where the prophet got that word from. I, I can't prove that the flag... It's 10,000 or 50,000 years old. But I, I don't know where the prophet got that word from. I, I can't prove that the flag is 10,000 or 50,000 years old. But I don't care what Noble Drali said. Elder Taj Tariq Bey, were the Umayyads, the Arab invaders, were they Moors? Yes. I don't care what Noble Drali said. Islam, Islamism. Islam, Islamism. I don't give a goddamn if any of these Moors are mad at me. I didn't already showed y'all that flag that they keep talking about is not over ten thousand years old. None of these Moors can take anything from me. I don't give a goddamn if any of these Moors are mad at me. I didn't already showed y'all that flag that they keep talking about is not over ten thousand years old. None of these Moors can take anything from me. Are you ready? With the help of none of these feds wearing moors. This is where I'm going at. Do y'all see that? You can Google that. Look at what they're asking for though. For those wishing to help the museum maintain the facilities for scholarly research. So what am I going here for? You think I'm going for a vacation? This is where I'm going at. This is where your treaty of peace and friendship is at more is doing this when all these boys are telling you back in the states that the treaty of peace and friendship got something to do with y'all brother we protect it under the treaty of peace and friendship we protect it under the treaty of peace and friendship but look what they're doing scholarly research not internet research i was in tangiers before so i'm going back this week directly here to show y'all that treaty has nothing to do with y'all. What'd that say right there? What'd that say, y'all? Moorish what? But it ain't got to do with you Moorish Americans in the States. Oh, no, it don't. Let's see. 
This is where your treaty is at. Look at that. Y'all can Google this yourself. Look at this. What do you think I'm going to do in that room? What do you think I'm going to look do in that room with all those books? Lord of mercy. <laughs> what do you think Sabir so going to do? It? That's the question. Who does the treaty apply to? Oh, no, brother, the empire of Morocco is over here in America. Well, prove it to me. Prove to me that it is over there. I'm going to say this one more time because I know these Moors are watching. Prove to me. Prove. Please go to the Library of Congress and show me because I'm going to be in Tangiers. I already got it from the state side. So now I'm going to go over here. I didn't been in. Let me explain this to y'all. I've been in Turkey. I was in Turkey for like a week. Do you know that treaty was done in, first of all, was is in Turkish, the Turkish language. I stayed in Turkey for a while. I researched in Turkey. I'm going to go back to Turkey. But yet, you got Moors who are selling books for $50, $60 with stuff that they got from other books. Did that make sense? Let me, let me say this one more time. You have Moors who sell books, $50 or $60, where they got information from other books. But you won't pay for something that somebody literally went themselves and did their research on the information. But you will sit on Facebook and argue with me. I don't give a goddamn if any of these Moors are mad at me. I didn't already show y'all. That flag that they keep talking about is not over 10,000 years old. None of these Moors can take anything from me. There is wrong on anything I'm saying. They have all opportunities every single day to correct me. Checkmate me. I don't do feel good stuff. I don't do feel good things to make you feel good. If that's the Empire of Morocco, then tell me when the hell you Moors going to go to war. When you going to really fight. If that's the empire of Morocco. And I'm not going to knock the Moors who really do fight. I'm not those Moors that sit up and say, yeah, brother, that's that sovereign citizen stuff. That, that's, the, that's the punctified Moors. Those are the punctified Moors who sit here and tell people, oh, that's that sovereign citizen stuff. I don't want to do that. Islam. Islam. Islamism. They don't call themselves Moors, people, in, in, in Morocco. I talked to a brother last night about this. They don't call themselves Moors, people, in, in, in Morocco. I talked to a brother last night about this. Listen to me. Listen, I want y'all to get what I'm saying to y'all. All of these Moors doing these videos on YouTube and Facebook talking crazy. I will call you bluff. I will call you bluff. They don't call themselves Moors, people in, in, in Morocco. I don't care what Noble Drali said. Y'all think it's Moors or some type of religious group or Moors Science Temple. Get the hell out of here, man. No, no, it's not. If you really study, and yeah, we didn't use the term Moor. Y'all think it's Moors or some type of religious group or Moors Science Temple. Get the hell out of here, man. No, no, it's not. If you really study, and yeah, we didn't use the term more, and yeah, we didn't use the term more, and yeah, we didn't use the term more, and yeah, we didn't use the term more. Y'all think it's more than some type of religious group or more science temple. Get the hell out of here, man. No, no, it's not. If you really study, y'all think it's more than some type of religious group or more science temple. Get the hell out of here, man. No, no, it's not. If you really study, y'all think it's more than some type of religious group or more science temple. Get the hell out of here, man. No, no, it's not. If you really study, y'all think it's more than some type of religious group or more science temple. Get the hell out of here, man. No, no, it's not. If you really study, and yeah, we didn't use the term more. Y'all think it's more than some type of religious group or more science temple. Get the hell out of here, man. No, no, it's not. 
if you really study and yeah we didn't use the term more y'all think it's more than some type of religious group or more science temple get the hell out of here man no no it's not if you really study y'all think it's more than some type of religious group or more science temple get the hell out of here man no no it's not if you really study y'all think it's more than some type of religious group or more science temple get the hell out of here man no no it's not if you really study and yeah we didn't use the term more and yeah we didn't use the term more and yeah we didn't use the term more y'all think it's more than some type of religious group or more science temple get the hell out of here man no no it's not if you really study and yeah we didn't use the term more y'all think it's more than some type of religious group or more science temple get the hell out of here man no no it's not if you really study and yeah we didn't use the term more I don't care what Noble Drolly said. I don't care what Noble Drolly said. Moore's always got to be talking crazy. Running around. They got a damn a Turkish turban. A Turkish turban on their head with a Moroccan flag with a bay, which is a Turkish name. Bay is a Turkish. That's what my man said. Y'all be talking and never even went nowhere. So you can. That was when I went over there. Even the dude on this video was telling me, he said, you got a Turkish turban on, tur turban on. Turkish. I was in Turkey. Let me, let me show him this real quick. I don't care what Noble Drolly said. I don't care what Noble Drolly said. No, the hell that flag is not over 10,000 years old. Kill that noise. You can come to my Instagram. I'm going to get back on it. There is no flag over 10,000 years ago. Stop. <coughs> that flag is not over 10,000 years. Okay, stop it. Stop, stop, stop. And I, I want you to come on Instagram. These are all my books. English Words, Friend and Ann, Second Amendment, Bill of Rights, Portuguese, Spain, the Moors in Spain and Portugal. Facts. That flag is not over 10,000 years old, homie. You better get your facts right. Go get your scholars. I'll be on Instagram soon. I don't care what Noble Drolly said. I don't care what Noble Drolly said. I don't care what Noble Drolly said. Moore's always got to be talking crazy. Running around. They got a damn a Turkish turban. A Turkish turban on their head with a Moroccan flag with a bay, which is a Turkish name. Bay is a Turkish. That's what my man said. Y'all be talking and never even went nowhere. So you can. That was when I went over there. Even the dude on this video was telling me, he said, you got a Turkish turban on, tur turban on. Turkish. I was in Turkey. Let me, let me show him this real quick. I don't care what Noble Drolly said. I don't care what Noble Drolly said. I don't care what Noble Drolly said. No, the hell that flag is not over 10,000 years old. Kill that noise. You can come to my Instagram. I'm going to get back on it. There is no flag over 10,000 years ago. Stop. <coughs> that flag is not over 10,000 years. Okay, stop it. Stop, stop, stop. And I, I want you to come on Instagram. These are all my books. English Words, Friend and Ann, Second Amendment, Bill of Rights, Portuguese, Spain, the Moors in Spain and Portugal. Facts. That flag is not over 10,000 years old, homie. You better get your facts right. Go get your scholars. I'll be on Instagram soon. I don't care what Noble Drolly said. I don't care what Noble Drolly said. Moore's always got to be talking crazy. Running around. They got a damn a Turkish turban. A Turkish turban on their head with a Moroccan flag with a bay, which is a Turkish name. Bay is a Turk. Moore's always got to be talking crazy. Running around. They got a damn a Turkish turban. A Turkish turban on their head with a Moroccan flag. With a bay, which is a Turkish name. Bay is a Turk. I don't care what Noble Drolly said. I don't care what Noble Drolly said. No, the hell that flag is not over 10,000 years old. Kill that noise. You can come to my Instagram. I'm going to get back on it. There is no flag over 10,000 years ago. Stop. 
<coughs> that flag is not over 10,000 years. Okay, stop it. Stop, stop, stop. And I, I want you to come on Instagram. These are all my books. English Words, Ferdinand, Second Amendment, Bill of Rights, Portuguese, Spain, the Moors in Spain and Portugal. Facts. That flag is not over 10,000 years old, homie. You better get your facts right and go get your scholars. I'm going to be on Instagram soon. No, the hell that flag is not over 10,000 years old. Kill that noise. You can come to my Instagram. I'm going to get back on there. There is no flag over 10,000 years ago. Stop. <coughs> that flag is not over 10,000 years. Okay, stop it. Stop, stop, stop. And I, I want you to come on Instagram. These are all my books. English Words, Ferdinand, Second Amendment, Bill of Rights, Portuguese, Spain, the Moors in Spain and Portugal. Facts. That flag is not over 10,000 years old, homie. You better get your facts right. Go get your scholars. I'm going to be on Instagram soon. I don't care what Noble Drali said. I don't care what Noble Drali said. I wasn't in Turkey for tourism. I was in there sitting with people and getting educated because that's where the bays come from. That's where the feathers come from. But once you start putting the puzzle together and the pieces together, then you will see clearly about what the hell is going on. I'm in Spain right now. I wasn't in Turkey for tourism. I was in there sitting with people and getting educated because that's where the bays come from. That's where the feathers come from. But once you start putting the puzzle together and the pieces together, then you will see clearly about what the hell is going on. I'm in Spain right now. I wasn't in Turkey for tourism. I was in there sitting with people and getting educated because that's where the bays come from. That's where the feathers come from. But once you start putting the puzzle together and the pieces together, then you will see clearly about what the hell is going on. I'm in Spain right now. I wasn't in Turkey for tourism. I was in there sitting with people and getting educated because that's where the bays come from. That's where the feathers come from. But once you start putting the puzzle together and the pieces together, then you will see clearly about what the hell is going on. I'm in Spain right now. I wasn't in Turkey for tourism. I was in there sitting with people and getting educated because that's where the bays come from. That's where the feathers come from. But once you start putting the puzzle together and the pieces together, then you will see clearly about what the hell is going on. I'm in Spain right now. I don't care what Noble Drali said. Well, St. Nick is from Turkey. St. Nick is from Turkey, which where I'm getting ready to go at. Morris flag is over 50,000 years old. Get the hell out of here. What Morris flag? Ain't no such thing as no Morris flag. I want you, it's no such thing as a Morris flag. You can share it to whoever the hell you need to share it with. There is no such thing as a Morris flag. Period. So bear with me, yo. So. I was in all these places. This is when I was in. I was in France talking to three Moroccan brothers. Three Moroccan brothers. And they pulled this one out. They said, this is the flag before the colonization. Before the colonization flag, that was the one. Now, unless these Moors went over to Morocco and went to all these places I went to, I don't want to listen to nothing that they say. Nothing that they're talking about. Until they do a video and prove to me step by step and go to everywhere I want, then I will probably say, okay, I don't care what Noble Drali said. Y'all don't even understand what Noble Drali said. You better go do your research. Y'all better stop following people, man. Y'all Moors better stop following people. I'm going to keep it funky. You better study when that flag was around. Do some research. But Noble Drali said, see, that? see how they like to shift stuff? What Noble Drali said. Now, what did you research? And why don't you go to Washington, D.C. and go pull out, go to the archives in D.C. It's very easy to go to D.C. I'm all the way in the U.K. 
I was already in France. I was in Morocco. I was all up and down Morocco. I was in the trenches. I was in Tunis. So three Moroccan brothers, when I was in France, said this was first and then this one came. I don't care what Noble Drali said. That shall have y'all ever saw this before in your life. This is what the brother pulled up and showed me. He said, this is the original Moroccan flag. This. And the Jews took this and used it. He said they took this symbol and used it. So none of y'all heard of this before, right? Now you're going to see one of these Moors do a video and tell y'all, well, brother, this is what it is. Let me, let me use common sense. Let's go. And I'm going to piss some Moors off, and I'm meant to do that. If that flag is over 10,000 years old, shouldn't you be able to go to the Washington archives and go see that mother freaking? Shouldn't you be able to go have a tour down that mother? I would. I would. I came all the way to Morocco, Spain, and all up in these places. None of these more supported me. None of them. I said this earlier about seven people. But none of these more science temple moors ever. But they'll talk shit. Yeah. And say my name in the video. But don't have the heart of the balls to come on my feeds and tell me that I'm wrong. I don't care what Noble Drali said. What people do is they talk to the wrong people and they talk to a lot of these weak behind Moors in these Moors science temples. Let me explain. I don't take sides. And I'm going to say this again. The weak behind Moors science temple Moors. If you are more that's in the temple, you got an issue that is not severe based problem. I am not a more science temple Moor. But don't go to the Moors science temple thinking that they are the answers to everything that's going on. Period. Don't go to them. They don't even have no credibility. None. I don't care what Noble Drali said. Let me, let, me speak to, let me tell you something, brother. I'm a straight Philly nigga. Let me, let, me speak to, let me tell you something, brother. I'm a straight Philly nigga. Let me, let, me speak to, let me tell you something, brother. I'm a straight Philly nigga. Don't, this is what my brother could say. Don't Man, you ain't no straight Philly nothing. Don't play yourself. You ain't no straight Philly nothing. But well, when I'll you come humble. to Philly, let me I'll know. Be there, when you come to Philly, and I'm straight Baltimore. Okay, and do what? you. Do you, dude. And what? We got, and I don't, don't want to go there with this bull, but honestly. And what? Keep my name out your mouth, bro. For real. You don't want that smoke, okay, man. Go ahead, man. Man, no, you keep my name out and my post out your post. I say what I want. Okay. You ain't going to do nothing. Okay. Now. Okay, y'all better check these more. Check. I bet, yeah, hold on. Let me ask somebody. I'm scared to even ask that question. Hold up. <laughs> hold up. Hold up. I'm scared to ask that question. Hold up. Wait a minute. Excuse me. Have you heard ever heard of this thing called a Moorish American? Ever heard of a Moorish American passport? No, no, I'm asking you something different now. Have you ever heard of this thing called a, a Moorish American passport? A who? A Moorish American passport. Moorish? Yeah. No? No, no. Okay. Uh, unless I'm... you're pronouncing it the Moorish? Moorish? Yeah. American. M yeah. No, okay. No, never heard uh, of that. I, I was just asking. Yeah, I would, I would, you know, you would know about that. Yeah, I was just asking. Yeah. He's still trying to figure He might have to go to the, um, to the what you call me, get it expedited. He might have to go. That's the only way he could do it. Is get it expedited. So they never heard of no Moorish American passport. They don't call themselves Moors, people in, in in Morocco. I talked to a brother last night about this. They don't call themselves Moors, people in in, in Morocco. I talked to a brother last night about this. Listen to me. Listen. I want y'all to get what I'm saying to y'all. All of these boys doing these videos on YouTube and Facebook talking crazy. I will call you bluff. I will call you bluff. They don't call themselves Moors, people in, in, in Morocco. I don't care what Noble Drali said. At the L, emerges from Syria. What? 
It's from Syria. Mm. From Syria. And it trickles down to their slaves, the Arabs. And it becomes, becomes part of Islam. And then it comes to you as slaves. Mm. Right? Wanting better treatment from the Arabs. Right? Being Malawis or commanders of their general, I mean, commanders of their army. Right? Things that happen in something like Al Kahina's. The Arabs murdered Al Kahina. That's why I was talking to Shaka on the couch. Mur the Arabs murdered Al Kahina. They murdered her. You know what her sons did? Her sons joined the Arab forces as commanders. They seek vengeance for their mother. They like to extrapolate a lot. They like to extrapolate and they like to um uh they like to superimpose. You know what I mean? They like anywhere they say anywhere they see the word more, they think it's dumb. Right? So if that's the case, that means you're a moron. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I said? You know what I mean? You're a moron then. If if every word has more in it means that it's related to the Moors, well the word moron has more in it. So you gotta accept that too. Okay? And I know they're gonna mess up because they're Moors. They're engineered to mess up. You understand? So yeah, now as far as hold on, as far as me helping him. And they are engineered to mess up. What do you mean by that? Well, yeah, I mean everything Moors are engineered to mess up because you have to look at their inception, you know, uh, how they came about in the first place. Um, they're really, they're, that's their entire history. Everything, I hate to say this, but the Moors might be what you would call the fuck-ups of history. The black fuck-ups of history. If you look at their history and you look at everything that they they did, right? And I also, you have to determine which Moors we're talking about because that's a whole nother bag of worms. So, We'll deal with what I call the fictitious Moors, okay? The fictitious Moors are these uh, brothers who walk around with, you know, I belong to this temple, I belong to that temple, and blah, blah, blah. Right, they self-identify as Moors. The problem is that because I'm a historian, I always have to pay credence to the word. So when you call yourself a Moor, I'm not interested in your definition. I'm interested in what the word is and what it means and what it refers to. So the first thing that we have to ref uh, uh, identify about it is that it is an endonym. It is a word that was coined from the outside, the Greeks, who pushed it back on as a blanket catch-all catch phrase for all black people. So These are some of the enemies of Africa. You understand what I'm saying? What you're looking at right here, these are some of the Indians. And these are some of the brothers that went down, uh, the, the so-called Indian, the Pakistani, that went down to South Africa with the British, who still in South. This is uh, Howard Carter. This is going to go through. I'm going to just let it go. You see that? That's some of them medieval Europeans. Like Columbus with the fairs on his head. These is the uh, uh, the Eastern stars with the fairs on the head, stealing up out of Kemet. He's saying that. Yeah. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. You ain't well, wait. I'm, you gonna get your chance. I'm gonna show you this phase. Wait a minute. Let it go through. I, Cause I didn't put it in uh, order like I needed to. This Muhammad Ali, the most wicked Arab Turk that ever lived on the uh, on the planet, responsible for killing. Uh, uh, 50, 60 million Africans when he took Egypt. Look at the red fairs on his head. I want you to look very clearly. When I go back to Egypt and I go back to Africa and I know that's my enemy and you got his hat on his head, his you think I'm going to you think I'm going to stop to ask you, is you down with me? And I, I done already identified this man's uniform. You think I'm going to stop, man, when this go down, and we in Africa, I'm going to advise you out of love. Take that hat off, boy. Because I'm telling you, it's a mark of the beast. This is the, the crackers over there right now, the Arab, all throughout Africa. Even the Russians wear that fez. It come up out of that Turkish realm. Here go that Greco uh, uh, Christian uh, background over there, Roman, Russian. They all wearing that hat. So tell me, my man, how do I separate you from him in a war? Mm. And you ain't got no time to drop no law on me or explain mm. nothing we're to gonna, me. We're going to go into all that. How you going to... Listen, on the battlefield, I'm going to be real. And out of love, I'm going to tell you this. On the battlefield, when I gave my oath, 
in Africa, man, I got to lay you down. I'm not going to ask you. Well, you got this man's hat. This is Gordon. You got, look, look, you got this man's hat on. You got this man. Hey, I'm lost. No, I, who no, made no. this up? Let me, let me who made this? Did I make okay, this up? Okay. Since I'm lost? Let's, let's Listen, it. see let's the white man right there? See all the niggas back there with the fans is on? Let's Look at him. Let us explain Look it. Look at him. Explain. explain. Go ahead and explain. Okay. I would like to hear this. All right, brother. Now, we can't... Like uh oh, wait a minute. Let me pause right there. Right. Let me pause there. Let me go back to that. Let me go back to that. I'm going to have to go back to that one because that, that one... Will that, go back? That one going... That... that let me pause that one. All right. Let me pause. When you get a chance, you get back on that one, side now. Okay. All right, now, let me, let me address, address that now. All right. The Fez. The same man that ran that Fez that's right over there in Egypt is sucking my people's okay. mineral wealth and funding his people like overseas. I don't know. That's a cracker. But I'm that's talking about the A-Rab. I'm talking about the A-Rab, too. too. That's the Shriner. The Arab Turk was wearing it before the shrine. All these, so you telling me all these guys are? They, you Man, listen, the practice, I don't right? want they all pick a wars one way or another. But the Arab, you talk about the Arab so that wearing that hat here. is in Africa, you sucking speak? all of the mineral wealth. And what I'm saying is, family, that the mineral wealth that's coming out of Africa, the re, why, why we in this poverty, that the mineral wealth in Africa should be funding us wherever we are on this planet. If we want business, if we don't, if we don't want to live in Africa, that's okay. Long as we recognize that that's our holy land, that's our motherland, and we will go to the aid of Africa when needed, that's okay if you move out into the other parts of the world. But the mineral wealth of Africa belongs to us, and we should be Africa should be funding African people. And the man that's wearing that fez in Africa right now is sucking the mineral wealth out of Africa, sending it to Arabia. India, so you what do you do? Indeed, it is true. Indeed, it is. I took my oath on sacred ground that I will always be here to defend my people. The enemy, if you see this hat in Africa or anywhere else, if they can't make a, a, a distinction between our enemies and we on the battlefield, you don't have to stop to ask if a snake is poisonous. If you see a snake, then you take a snake's head. If you were in Africa, do any research, any time a nigga befriended a cracker in Africa, he wore that hat. And if we go to war in Africa, anybody you see with that hat, hat on, take their head. Can I say something? That's my bottom line. Right. And that ain't an attack on my brother as my brother. But if we on the battlefield, ain't no way we gonna stop to ask know? somebody if that's, is you die. Why don't we go to war with the... Dedicated this video to my brother Sabir Bay to help educate him from what I feel is a lot, a lot of misinformation he's been spewing and miseducating black people. So I want to correct that. You know who wear the fans? Which a lot of Afrocentrics confused, and I'm the one who first dropped this. Nobody, nobody had a clue. And I cleared all the. I'm the one who first started teaching people that the Moors were Arab and Berber. I got videos to prove it. So look, the Ascari. Those are the people who were the fans. Let's read who, what an Ascari is. An Ascari means a so it's a soldier or in the military. Was a local ser soldier serving in the armies of the European colonial powers in Africa. particularly in the African Great Lakes, Northeast Africa, and Central Africa. Now, the Ascari has nothing to do with North Africa or Northwest Africa. They're in Central Africa, East Africa, Northeast Africa. They're nowhere near that, okay? They were the feds, and the Ascari are the police. The destination is still in occasional use today to informally describe police. That's what the Ascari is, the police. They were Africans who helped European, European colonial powers in Central Africa.
all them videos you see with Sabra Susan Shetty showing in Italy and Mussolini and all that, that's over in Ethiopia and Central Africa. They ain't got nowhere near Morocco. They wouldn't wear no red cone hats up there. They was wearing turbans, like I showed you. So look. These are the Ascari. Right here. Soldiers of the King's African Rifles, they also call. The Ascari and King's African Rifles are the same people. This is in 1902. You see the fans with the tassel hanging? I don't, how severe, babe, and all these moors got this confused is beyond me. But that's no, not beyond me. I know why. Because they were miseducated. They didn't know no better. They didn't even know their history. American moors wearing a red fez hat is wearing a police uniform hat. That's the hat of the police. King's African's rifles. That's who wore the feds. These Negroes got it all twisted. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> there they go. <laughs> there they go. There they go. What did it say right there? Ascari in training. Riflemen. These are policemen. For European colonial forces with their little cone fast hat. That's what they did. <coughs> Look. Eritrean Ascari. You see the fast hat? What the hell is Severe Bay and them talking about? This is in Central Africa. This is in, this is right here is a, 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 a like East Africa. Eritrean Ascari. Yeah. Mussolini's forces and shit. <laughs> I mean, that's what they're doing. These American Moors are wearing this shit. Ain't got nothing to do with what they did in North Africa and turbans in Morocco. The Moroccan Touaregs and all them wore turbans. Wait, let me see some more pictures. There we go, right there. Ascari Monument. The Ascari is the police. Look at what is right for. That's the police. Ascari Monument in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. Where's Tanzania? That's Central Africa. <laughs> Dedicated to Ascari soldiers who fought in the East African campaign of World War I. That ain't got shit to do with Morocco. Go ahead, maybe see if I get some more pictures. The Moors fought side by side with Hannibal. But for some reason, they broke the allegiance. And I say, damn, let me go do the, the research on it. So I look Massinacius up in World's Great Men's of Color by J.A. Rogers, and he drops the knowledge on the Moor, whom they call at that time uh, equivalent Numidia, from which Massinacius was the goddamn ruler. And he was in love with Hannibal's niece. But they gave that woman up in marriage to another man, and Massinacius felt betrayed, and he sided with Rome and Scipio Africanus against Hannibal. God damn, man, y'all motherfucker got a long resume of being a traitor. How the fuck is you gonna fight against Hannibal, your brother, your African brother, more brother, whatever you want to call it, for the low life, the imperialistic wrong. Read up, motherfucker. Read up on Massinacius. Another traitor. You understand what I'm saying? Got a long motherfucking resume. 
Now, I dare you to show me what Moors stood up in our defense when we needed them. Show me. Show me those more. I'm looking for them. Now, I respect the historical more. I revere that history when they went into Spain and all the sciences that they brought up out of uh, 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 Timbuktu, the University of Janine. But damn, when they came back, they had lost it. They had lost it. So the only greatness about the Moors that we can even speak about was that highlight in Spain. After that, there is no more that you can speak of in any great uh, 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 conversation that the Moors was uh, 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 something that we should revere. Now, damn, y'all destroyed Ghana and Songhei up under Macinaceus. You traded on Hannibal. And then I asked myself, damn, the historical Moor was an Orthodox Muslim. He didn't read out of no Circle 7 Quran. He didn't follow no noble Jew Ali. They didn't, they, did, they didn't recognize Confucius and Buddha as no fucking prophets. So I asked myself, damn, based on the historical Moor and what they believe, they went to Mecca. They didn't come to no fucking Morocco, even though that, that was their area in which they inhabited. They all went to Mecca. They took their pilgrimages to Mecca. You ain't hear no motherfucker over here talking about no, no land over here was their original homeland. Them people knew where the hell they came from, even though they was fucked up in their head, talking about they was related to Muhammad rather than call themselves an African. So I asked myself, damn, man, besides saying that y'all the more size temple, what the fuck truly historical about you is really Morris. If we are to identify, even, uh, 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 even if we deal with Macinaceus in, in Numidia, they wasn't reading out of no Circle 7 Quran. They didn't follow no noble Jew Ali. They didn't uh, uh, revere no damn Buddha or no damn Confucius as no damn prophet. So what about y'all is original from these original Moors? And if you're going to accept Egypt as being a, a part of the Moorish Empire, if you're going to do that, Amun Ra is older than Allah, Ptah is older than Allah, Asa is older than uh, Allah, Aset is older than Allah, Heru is older than Allah. Why y'all don't call it on the oldest name of the, of the deities? Why do you why why you still going to 101s and they talking about Mecca is the uh, original Garden of Eden? And you know damn well in uh Egyptian texts, they don't speak of no goddamn Mecca or no damn Canaan being no Garden of Eden. We came from the beginning of the Nile, where God happy dwells at the foothills of the mountains of the moon. In Central East Africa, that's from the papyrus of Hunefa. They know better than anybody. Read the Egyptian text. That's why I ask, I say, damn, Noble Jew Ali says he's an Egyptian adept. But damn, I ask myself, damn, what was truly about him that was Egyptian? When you deal with the culture, he didn't teach you about the 42 negative confessions of my He didn't teach you about uh, Abydos and uh, 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 Aswan, Philae, Waset, uh, the Grand uh, Grand Lodge of Waset, uh, the Grand Temple of Luxor, the Valley of the Kings. He didn't teach you about the dynastic, the, 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 the kings of the dynastic periods. He didn't, what, 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 what is Egyptian about it? There's nothing, how in the hell you going to be Egyptian and you talking about Jesus? Ain't no damn Jesus in ancient Egypt. He didn't, he, didn't even, he didn't even exist. And so what the hell is we talking about? Uh, 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 Jesus. In the times of ancient Egypt, Mecca didn't exist. So how, why is we talking about Mecca? And then he's an Egyptian adept. I have a right to ask that question. You understand what I'm saying? And if, if, the, if we're going to say, well, the man literature may be outdated. You knew it was outdated. 
but you roll with it until I came out on that shit. You understand what I'm saying? When I said, when I showed the video that there were Moors in Africa with, with, with the fairs on, fighting with the peck of wood against our people, you didn't come out and say, well, those were my riscos until I came out on it. Why didn't you bring this goddamn knowledge and say, well, hey, these are bad Moors, we're good Moors, you understand? This is how you recognize them. You didn't do that. You didn't do that. So don't come out now and try to ride the fucking fence. All of these Africans that went up into Western Asia and they were castrated, uh -huh. they left no seed. They left no seed. They left no children. And so that is the reason why you can explain why there is not a large population of Africans in now Iran and in Syria, right? And in, uh, in, in Western Europe, right? Or in the Turkish Empire is because when those eunuchs died, they had no seeds, they had no wives, they had no children, they had no population. So it was population control. Now, What I just said is that when you create a eunuch culture, the eunuchs don't give children, so there are no descendancies. So when you want to come up to me and say, Brother Reggie, and start talking about descendancy, right, and that's not descendable, you're not dealing with the, what the, what the, what the Iranians and the Turks and the rest of the Arabs did to Africans. They made us non-descendable. But then you want to use these code words and act like we don't know what makes a person descendable or not. When you're a eunuch, you're not going to be descendable. When you're a eunuch, you don't have any nationality. Your balls just got cut off. And you want to come to us in this period of time and start talking about we ain't got no nationality. See, the nature of the African, there were many nations right. in Northern Africa, North Africa, Central Africa, Southern Africa, right? So because there's so many of the nations, you know what we just call them? We call them black, right? Now, you have simplified it to be a Moorish nation, right? So that's like, you know, common denominator, right? Right? So, in order to cover up all of these black African nationalities that you destroyed, <laughs> you destroyed their nationality. Because they had nationalities before you came, before the Umayyad came, before the Abbasid came, before all of those little tribal white dynasties came. Africans had nationality. Ghana, ancient Ghana. Had a nationality. <laughs> you took the <their> nationality. <laughs> now you want to call them Moors, right? So we ain't gonna apologize for it. That's why we stand for blackness, right? Because we are not gonna be aligned with something that we know destroyed our people, and we're not gonna cover it up. So, so when I see these pictures of these eunuchs, right, it makes me cry. What does it do to you? It makes you turn the page, right? Because you're going to apologize for it. You're going to be like one of those Moors who when you look at the picture sign there and you saw it in your own eyes, oh, he wasn't a Moor. But I'm going to show you during the debate who is a Moor and who's not a Moor, right? Because we have people like Al Mansour. Al Mansour went down and destroyed Timbuktu. He made them slaves. That's history. And he used black folks to do it. And he made them eunuchs a concubine too. <laughs> and you're going to tell me that the people that was working, that, that were subjects of al or they were subjects. They had no nationality. So y'all want to play these little word games. These moors that were in Spain, do you know if they wore fezzes? They wore and turbans. So, they wore turbans. Directed, 
Yeah, turban ain't a fez, though. I want right. to know if they wore fez. Well, yeah. well, you can go back and you'll see some of them wearing them uh, the bucket hats or the fez, what they call it, the fez. Yeah, some of them had on fez, some of them had on the turbans. They was going back in and Spain? forth. In Spain? In Spain? Um, I, I, I don't know. I think the turbans in Spain. Ones. Yeah, all the images I see of, of more, and I haven't studied this exhaustively, I should say, this particular topic yeah. exhaustively. But I believe that most of those people we would consider more so in Spain were often wearing turbans. The, the fez is a hat that comes from us from the area around Turkey. And it was conflated with ancient peoples, ancient Islamic peoples who existed in the area. Um, and so there's some confusion around the fez as well. Um, and I think that we need to be a bit more disciplined about how we describe those people that did amazing things that were also African. Um, and that, that's a challenge. All right. Okay, so, so thank you, you brother. I appreciate it. Questions to answer. Thank, thanks thank a you. lot, man. All right. Thank peace. You, dear brother. Peace and black power, no Jabari. Problem. Thank you for coming through. This question, I'm going to get it back to you. Do you feel that the treaty is valid? And do you feel like it is, is of use? No. In your opinion? No, I don't. And let me explain okay. why. Let me explain why. Okay. That treaty represented Moorish or rather Moroccan nationals. You understand what I'm okay. saying? It represented more. Yes, sir. It represented citizens of the country or a, a geographical designation of Morocco at that time. You understand that? Now, yes, and we, I done had this conversation I, I, with let, somebody else, and let, 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 I'm explaining how, how it relates let, to let, 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 you can see, I, let me give you an example. Let me give you an example. Mm -hmm. If the United States have a treaty with China, that, chi that, that treaty with China is enforceable, but it's forcible by the government of China because it's two governments that have the treaty. So what you would have to do would have to be a national of Morocco in order to perforce, enforce the treaty because it was a sultan and a president that represented two different governments. So you would have to be exactly. a part of that government. You're not a part exactly. of the Moroccan government. So it doesn't apply uh, yeah, to let you. Me tell you something. Yeah, yeah, let, me, let me show you something. Yes, you are. Because I used to think the same thing, what you're, what you're saying right now. But the way that comes into play is if you are um, if you have been nationalized, you are a part of the government. If once we take on the the El Bay or what or the the, the different uh, um, um, titles of nobility or whatever, you then become uh, you fall up under that treaty. That's that's false information, brother. Brother, that's not true. You can't prove that. Nor do you have anything to stand on. That's facts. No, that's facts. Okay, I don't okay, see okay. I don't okay. see people enforce it. Bro, 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 bro. Who are they? Where is the link? Can you send it to me? I, you know what? I got your email, and I, I'll do that. What I'm trying to tell you yep. is what I'm trying to tell you is this: unless yes, unless you are a part of the Moroccan government, a citizen of Morocco, it doesn't apply to you because anybody can put Bay and L on their name, European, Brother, Asian. It, it applies. It applies to the bloodline. It, it does, brother. That's a government agreement. What are you talking about? It applies to the bloodline law. I'm telling so, you, I'm so, not talking about. so, so, brother. If that applies to you, you should be able to right now go on a plane and go to Morocco un, uh, uh, unopposed. When, let me let me show you something. Let me explain to you like this: the Morocco government, when they when our people was over here, brother, they don't they like you. We're, we're here. Hold on, they was here first. We got the land over here first. So, therefore, that Robert, let me... government was projected over to here and applies to the people that's on the land, uh, Mr. Tahaka. All right, let me ask you a question. Since, yes, since you want to go that way, let's go to another way. Can you show me one treaty that the United States honored? <laughs> yeah, I like the way you go. You gonna try to play that, but check this out. No, 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 no. Can, I'm, show I can me. Send you, listen, I can show send you me all the information. No, 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 no. Brother, I heard every argument. Yeah. Show me one treaty that the Europeans honored and that people are thriving from today. Zion's temple recognized at the United Nations.
Absolutely nope. not. Absolutely not. Um, why however, do you think that is, brother? Because the reason the reason why it's not because you know now comes the part where we throw our heads back and laugh. Ready? Ready! Ah! <laughs> 